Also doing, uh, je vais parler de, my goodness, I finally, I finally saw someone else's budget breakdown that I can get behind. And in a lot of ways, I think this particular uh, grad student whose budget that uh, I'm, I'm going to talk about today is kind of my hero on how he spends his money. Wow. Hey, yo, Zempak here. Uh, I forget whether I've mentioned this, but uh, I actually do not adhere to a strict budget. I do, however, have a tendency to record uh, everything that I spend so that by end of year, uh, I can just have a general review as to whether I thought uh, I'd spend uh, is out of sync with what I actually spent, right? Now, knowing me, obviously the answer is always no, they're not out of sync ever. <laughs> Still, I can respect people who do have a strict budget, especially those who are not in, in as enviable or lucky financial position as myself, right? But I'm happy to say I finally found one where my internal commentary was that of pure respect, right? My goodness. It's really nice to hear uh, good news these days. So I will link the article below. It's one of those CNBC articles talking about individual cases of how someone uh, spends their money. A uh, quick summary is that, hey, it's a 20-something grad student that makes what I consider a pittance, right, at only 32K a year, which is reasonable because he's currently in the middle of getting uh, further, you know, uh, continue education. He's not in any high cost of living area for sure, but still, usually college towns are at least still that. Towns, so not exactly the middle of nowhere level of rural, right? So I'd like to break down his budget, especially mention areas where he put even me to shame, which is really amazing. Wow, I wanna applaud this guy now and probably again later. Okay, so uh, anyway, if you enjoyed rants like this or just wanna laugh at my dumb face or whatever, comment, like, subscribe, share, and all that social media buzzwords, I'll be great regardless. <laughs> Point number one. So first, this dude spends four hundred dollars on rent and has no car car payment. Boom. Two biggest issues, uh, more or less solved. The car bit is mostly luck, I think, as he drives his dad's old Honda that's paid off. It's an almost twenty-year-old car at this point, but since it's a Honda, I'm assuming it can last a, a few more years if proper care has been given. Right. Uh, and cars are usually the number two cost. Uh, highest cost for most household budgets, right? So, you know, I think you all know that I think, once again, 400 bucks for housing is quite amazing. I mean, look, that's literally what I used to pay uh, for my first out of parental units apartment with my friend, right? I paid 400 bucks though 20 years ago. He is somehow still able to pay that now. <laughs> I mean, I do know why, right? I was paying 400 bucks with one roommate in New York City. Uh, he's paying problem the same amount with probably more roommates in a small town still I cannot emphasize how much financial flexibility these two decisions alone give him right because this dude he only he makes less than 3k a month he could have easily spent something like I think the average rent in the country is like 1500 for housing okay so he's saving more than $1,100 but is that he lives how he is which is as a grad student so there's no shame in having roommates right I'd actually argue most people if you make less than 50k a year you probably need a roommate right you need a roommate situation to significantly cut into your housing cost or, or you know as the cool kids calls it uh, these days house hack uh, right whatever no, I know I'm wasting my breath, right? Most people in this great large country of ours wants to live it up, whether they can afford it or not, right? Unlike this kid. Uh, number two, point number two, right? I love how this guy, he's, he's only making 30K a year and he's still investing for his retirement accounts. Sure, it's not a lot, right? It's the tunes of like a few hundred bucks, but still, this is a sign of amazing discipline. I did not personally start contributing to my retirement accounts until I was 30. Granted, uh, I was always saving prior to that, right? But definitely, I did not know the most efficient order of operations uh, of saving, especially if I wanted to get to fire, which is definitely start with retire retirement accounts first, right? This guy in his thir uh, 20s, uh, still technically a student making barely any money yet he regularly invests what he can right i have no doubt the level of at least financial stability this guy will reach just based on these few habits of display that we've seen so far right i really respect that if you know by the way just 
side thing, but he even has an item for tithing, aka it's charity, right? Again, I'm put to shame. I haven't, you know, uh, I have given money to causes that matter to me, but only when I was feeling flush. So basically, once I hit my 30s, when I had that big tech job, never prior to that, right? So let me say definitely never was when I was only making 30k a year though, right? I feel like I was just barely squeaking by at that income level. So much respect for this dude sticking not only to money principles, but to life principles, right? Ah, so final point, do I have any nitpicks about this article that I read about how this guy spends his money? About his budget? Actually, not at all. But I do have a nitpick about his debt, right? This is the only place where I'd handle money differently. Unlike all the doom and gloom sayers in the financial media, uh, you know, his case of student debt I actually find much more likely, which is that he owes a little bit in student loans to the tunes of only 2700 bucks. What's great is that this dude already has cash standing by to the tunes of 10000 So then why hasn't he just simply paid it off? The reason he gives is reasonable. After all, student loan payments are frozen during COVID. However, what I disagree with is hanging out, hanging out to any kind of debt, uh, you know, outside of a mortgage, really, when especially when he can actually easily pay off his student loans, right? Uh, this is probably a personal preference because I personally I hate owing anybody money, least of all the federal government. Uh, given the level of his cash reserves, paying off the loan would really barely make a dent into his into his cash fund, so if it was me, I'd pay it off simply to lower the mental stack of complexity in my brain when it comes to my finances, right? But frankly, even on this minor nitpick, I do understand his position, right? He actually mentions how he's just waiting to graduate, get a job first, and then pay off the student loan. That's fair and uh, maybe even more prudent, right? Uh, though I, I don't find it more psychologically comforting. The point is, he's one of the few people I've ever seen talked about in the financial media who saved up and wants to pay off his loan himself, right? Instead of just, just asking for some magical government forgiveness. Again, good for him. Yep, that's right. This is the whole rant. I'm just being supportive and frankly a fanboy uh, to this dude, okay? It is so refreshing to see regular Americans just making great financial decisions on all fronts, right? I think the key element here is that he has had really good influences ever since childhood from supportive parents who also presumably knew what they were doing in terms of handling finances, right? Learn, uh, as I'm learning more about how others treat their money, it really does make me feel very lucky to have my own circle of support, right? After all, uh, it's not about how much money you make, but how much you can keep. And this grass, grass student from middle America should be the role model for, for the majority of Americans who's very unlikely to break the six-figure income threshold for a good while, right? If anything I want you to take away is that savings and good habits can be done whenever or wherever there's a will, right? You too can be at least financially stable, right? Just by adopting a mentality like this example. Grassu, give it a try. I am positive it'll make you happier in the long run. Cheers. I'll approach it.